are good day everyone and welcome back to another episode of empire so in the last episode i made a shop for paper and to be honest i haven't told anyone on the server that i actually made this so i'm sure sales have not been great but during my off time i filled up these barrels with a lot of paper so eventually we will get the sales that we need for the diamonds that we oh so desperately need as a pirate but today is all about giving giving back to my girlfriend who <laughs> you guys had so many great ideas of gifts that i should get her and i'm gonna take some of those ideas and we're going on an adventure a treasure hunt within the other empires i'm sure they have some treasure that they probably don't need and that she would much more need than they do so the first place we're gonna go is our good old friend flips because i feel like as a goblin he'd have a lot of treasure that he doesn't even know that he has so let's go there and see what we can find ah yes the goblins wow a lot of things have changed here. He's really upgraded quite a bit. Huh. All right. Well, I already can sense there's going to be a lot of treasure around here. Where to even begin? Oh, wow. What's down here? Drip. Does he have any signs that say treasure? Oh, my God. I love... Oh, what just hit me? What was that? Hello? <gasps> what is? What are the particles I have on me? Am I poisoned? That was very odd. <gasps> oh. Oh. Look at all this treasure. Okay, okay. Nobody's here, coast is clear. Oh, my mortal enemy. And by mortal, I mean immortal god. Well, seems like he could be an ally if he has my friend's head here. Well, I'm sure he won't notice if I just take some of this. He has so much. How will he even realize if any of it is gone? So I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit and I feel like it would just be more useful if my girlfriend had it, especially because if Joel stole the gold that I gave her before, then like she's probably needs more. So this is even better because this is raw gold. Okay, I'm only taking a little bit, just a few pieces. I don't want to take too much where he can notice that some's missing. So I feel like this is probably good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he shouldn't notice that you know what he might notice let's just put one there okay perfect i doubt he'll even realize <gasps> okay now let's go to other empires and get more treasure <laughs> ah, yay she's gonna love me <gasps> oh my gosh <gasps> and i'm just thinking about our wedding and all the wedding gifts we'll get with even more treasure this is a good idea this is a great business plan as well how do i get the hell out of here um, oh, we could just fly out through there. Whee! Ow, I'm gonna spike my head. Oh, Animalia might have some decent treasure. Okay, well, let's just head on in here and explore. Ow, 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 ow! What the hell are all these berries doing here? My gosh. <gasps> oh no, she's built a moat. How will I ever get across here? It's too dangerous. <gasps> oh, tis firm. Tis firm as wood. Ha ha. Oh, hi. Hi, little fella. We have a little ocelotl. Come here, ocelotl. Where'd you go? Darkness falls. Quick, we must sleep. <gasps> or maybe this is our perfect cover for treasure finding. Oh, <gasps> with this. Yes. <gasps> and they're purple too. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Settle down, Joey. Settle down. She might be here. Okay. Everybody's leaving. They're going away for the night. It looks like that iron golem's tied up. Get our silk touch pickaxe out. I don't think anyone's looking. Excuse me, sir. I need you to look away. You didn't see anything. Look away. Look away. Gimme, 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 gimme. What the hell is that? What is that bell? Is that an alarm? Does she have an alarm system? Quick! Oh my god, we have to be very fast. I think the alarm's gonna go off. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wait, she might notice this. She might really notice this. Um, here. Perfect. Just how I found it. <laughs> okay. Well, farewell everybody. If you saw anything, uh, you didn't know it was me. Well, you know what? We should probably sleep here too. Give me your bed. Don't stand on me while I sleep. Huh, well, 
Thanks for having me. I shall be off now. <gasps> wow. Chromia is really coming together. I feel like there's gotta be something. <gasps> I could steal some flowers for her. Oh, what was that? What is this? Oh! Oh! He has an alarm system as well! I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah! I'm scared. Grab all the flowers. Grab all the flowers. Grab all the flowers! She likes purple, right? Pink, purple, magenta, all those things? I gotta get the hell out of here. These other emperors clearly have security systems. And, uh... Again, just so he doesn't realize that there's flowers missing. And just leave one. Um, I think it's best if we just get the hell out of here and go give her the gifts. Okay, I couldn't resist. I had to steal something from Dawn as well. It's just, I'm just feeling a little, you know, overly excited now that I'm on a rampage. So might as well just keep going till I can't go no more, right? Yeah. And uh, didn't Jem say she had something called treasure somewhere around here? Where would that be, maybe? Where's her chests? Maybe... Huh. <gasps> maybe just one of these? Sure she won't mind. Yeah, she basically said that I could when I talked to her last. I'm pretty sure she said, Yeah, Joey, go ahead. You can go to my treasure chest. It says treasure. And if you want to take anything, you can. I'm pretty sure those were her exact words. Play the tape. No more stealing. I wasn't stealing. But if you did happen to have anything that you didn't want me to steal, like maybe some treasure, where might that be? I feel like this is a trick question. Ha. Huh. I do have a chest. It, it is labeled treasure. It, it would be easy. I should change that. Yeah. You've given me some good thoughts about a security You should system. change Thank you. that. <gasps> Here it is. Her treasure chest. Okay. Let's see. What else does she have? Honestly, nothing that good. Um, I'll take some of this. I'll take some of this. Oh, look at these flowering azalea leaves. I just kind of realized I've been making a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. I think we have everything. So let's go head to Catherine's and leave her her rainbow present. We've made it back to Princess Port. Ow! I mean, wait, I arrived on boat, my lady. Of course. Pirate doesn't fly, he ships. Okay, well, now we need to find a place to put this present, somewhere where she's not gonna be able to miss it. Wow, this is a beautiful pirate palace. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Well, I'm sure she goes in here quite often, so we could make an offering here at the front of her area. Her front door is a perfect place for the rainbow gift I have for her. Oh gosh, it's getting dark. We need to sleep somewhere. Oh. Well, I might as well sleep here. Where's her bed? Where's her bed? Princess, where do you sleep? <gasps> her bed. Wow. Oh, I can't believe I slept in her bed. <gasps> wow. I feel even more rejuvenated than ever before. <gasps> okay, let's go leave this gift before she comes around. I'm already lost. Okay. 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 All right. So we'll start with the red. And voila, the most beautiful gift. I'm sure she's going to absolutely love this entrance of treasure. I absolutely would love it. So I know she will too. Maybe just a few more adjustments actually, just to, you know, give it some more dimension. Okay, so I had a couple extra gifts. So I decided I would just leave them in her bedroom because, you know, we gotta bless her room before she actually moves in and, you know, bring all the good energy in there. So I basically converted it into a treasure room. So uh, I'm sure she's going to love this. It feels very homey. I mean, if I were to receive this as a gift, as a treasure pirate room, I would be so excited and I'd ask for my hand in marriage immediately. So uh, this, this probably will make her fall deeply in love with me. So we're just gonna leave that there. And there we go. I also left her a sign that says a gift of all your favorite colors, love pirate Joe. And she loves all the colors. So I gave her a gift of all the colors. So 
Uh, yeah. Okay, I decided to reword it. A gift of all your favorite colors. Love your pirate prints. I feel like that's more appropriate. And I also added in some of the gold pressure plates. And I think it looks so good. She's going to love it. I can't wait. Okay, well, let's get back to Eversea and start working on our world a little bit more. Hello, Forgotten Cove. I'm back and I'm ready to start making this place look more like an empire because it's just looking a little too scattery flattery. I mean, we are making some progress, especially with the docks last episode, but up here is just barren and I just want to feel more substantial. So to start us off, I want to eventually turn this into like a town square, but that's going to take quite some time to get to that point. And I feel like the best place to start is the front door. So I want to create a gateway right here that will eventually lead inside the town. And I don't want to like necessarily make a wall, but I kind of want a bunch of buildings and houses to form around in a circle and enclose the town square. Kind of like what Lizzie has with hers, but each house will look very different. Almost like I, I want to take inspiration from like Pirates of the Caribbean type vibes. So let's get started. I first need to get rid of these sheep. So let's move them over to an area over here just for now. So I'm gonna get some wheat and build a new pen for them. And come with me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at them all with their crazy eyes looking at me. You guys look so wild. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Come over here. Everyone gather around. We're just going to go straight this way. I did not have everything open. Come on. Come here. You want this wheat? I bet you do. Oh, we got some dum-dums over here, don't we? Come here. Okay. And everyone who didn't make it in here shall be slaughtered for their sins. Death be with you. Death be with you! How dare you not listen to me? You are idiots. This is what you get for disobeying me. I am the Pirate King! Huh. Okay, perfect. That's taken care of. Now, let's just break this down. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the entire gate, but it's kind of in the similar vein of the clock tower with the wood, and I also have different colors for each of the pillars to keep it, you know, rainbow-fied, but I'm gonna do a quick time lapse. Let me first pick a nice spot and enjoy this sweet time lapse of me building the entry gate. <laughs> Okay, here is the gateway into our future town of Eversea. I'm so excited. I think it's so cute and pretty. It has the rainbow, it has the dark uh, blackstone or deep slate, whatever it's called. And I really also need to work on the pathing up here because I'm not sure I like the mud brick anymore. So I'm thinking cobblestone might actually look more cute, but you come through here. I accidentally released some of the cows when I was digging this. I also need to move them, but this is the back. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. It's weird that it's just like a gateway that leads to nowhere yet. But in the next couple of episodes, I really want to start building up this town area. So it's, it's a good start for sure. But now I want to work on the pathing. <laughs> Okay, I really like this. I think it's so much better than the ugly, like, mud bricks. It adds some color, it adds some fun. And then over here, I wanna transition into cobblestone because I want the whole town to have a cobblestone ground. Uh, a mix, of course, but um, I don't think we'll get into the actual interior of the town because that's gonna be a huge, massive project that will take place over a while. But I also feel like I kinda level this off a little bit because this is a weird like hill that goes up and then down and we don't want that we want flat perfect okay let's take a look oh my god it just looks so good look at this my empire's coming together you guys oh 
Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Like, just look at this. Do you see this? Some of my best work. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's do like a nice transition. We'll place down some mossy cobble here and just kind of like play it around. I'm so excited for this town. Like I definitely have the idea of making more places for my villagers to go because I have a lot of guys I need to be rescuing and they're going to need a place to stay. So having a nice village for them and then just having basic villagers. By basic, I mean just like, you know, the ones that are just basic. Uh, be living around. I think we'll just make Eversea feel more and more of like a real empire and not just me here. So something like this, I think will be a really cute town square, like palette to have in there. But I also feel like we need to add some greenery. So I left a patch of grass here where I think a uh, palm tree would look really cute. So I'm just gonna make one by uh, hand and see how it turns out. Cute. It's just a little dainty little palm tree. And then maybe another one over here. Yeah. I like that one too, but it does look a little oh, a little awkward just like that. So I feel like let me bone meal some grass in here too. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe the tall grass is a bit much, but the regular grass I feel like is perfect. I still am not sure what I'm going to do over here quite yet, but it's a great start to have this and this just looks so much better. Are you kidding me? It feels like so much more like lived in and like the start of something exciting. Oh, I can't wait. But this is probably where I'm going to leave the episode today. I can't wait to continue on with this city idea I have. So until next time, I will see you all next time. Good damn bye.